This is the usual diet of the urban American crow. Suspicious splats in parking lots and dumpster cuisine. I'm willing to bet that the kibbled cat food I offer in the crow puzzle is much more nutritious, but it's still not the healthiest food for crows. So I decided to introduce some variety in the feeder, namely dried mealworms and raw cashew and walnut pieces, still mixed in with a little cat food for bait. You already see where this is going, right? So my first test subject was this little spaz right here. Well, at least we can see how squirrel problem solving compares to a raccoon's. I think he's sniffing the walnut shelf right now. The mealworms are at the bottom and the cashews at the top. There's also a little spilled kitty kibble in the dispenser chute. Hey, that sounded kind of like Morse code. Let's see if he's trying to tell us something. Never mind. Now he's found the cashews. I don't know how he expects the crow decoy to help. Starlings love kitty kibble, though this is the first time I've seen one feeding here. I think that's because the mealworms spilled on the picnic table are just irresistible. The starling eats almost all the mealworms in sight before returning to the cat chow. Ah, looks like he missed a worm. He wants more worms, but just like the squirrel, he is flummoxed by the puzzle. He soon gives up and flies away. Here a crow dines on the spilled kitty kibble the starling didn't bother with. Ah, uh, look who's back for a second try. This time the squirrel is able to get to some walnut pieces, albeit inefficiently. He's still working the puzzle the hard way, but he is getting results. Welp, who's surprised? It looks like he's trying to tear open the tower at the seams. It's only been a couple of minutes, but word is getting around. Watch this squirrel defend his stash against an intruder. Crow soon comes along and has free choice of the assorted goodies. All he wants is the cat food, though. He's even eating around the mealworms to get to it. It's the reverse of the starling's behavior. He goes for the mealworms only after the nearby kibble is gone. Dang, squirrel! When all of the nuts are gone, the squirrel resorts to chewing on one of the shelves. The 
Starling is back, and he vacuums up the remaining mealworms. A second starling stops by to see what's going on. The first starling isn't in the mood for company. But the second starling doesn't go far, basically shadowing the first one. I hope you all have enjoyed my Crow Puzzle Challenges series. I will close this final video in the series with some fresh footage of crows interacting with the dog puzzle toy. I intend to keep it as a permanent fixture at the picnic table. But obviously, I can only bait it with the Corvette equivalent of McDonald's. I've actually already bought another one of these toys. Though I don't know exactly where I'm going to stage it yet. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and leave me some feedback in the comments. To see more backyard wildlife antics, hit that subscribe button too. I appreciate you visiting my channel, and as always, thank you for birdwatching.